Skolomance refers to the sinister academy for prospective necromancers who study the secrets of death deep in the exhumed crypts beneath the palatial Barrow of Estate. This noble family once owned lands spanning from Brill to the Terran Mill, and even as far as South Shore, ruling from their estate on the island of Caer Darrow. As with the rest of Lordaeron, the plague of undeath brought great change to the lands owned by the Barovs. But rather than fall victim to the undead scourge, the Barovs entered into a deal with its cult of the damned. Not content with their already enormous domain, the opulent Barovs offered their wealth and holdings in exchange for dark abilities beyond any mortal reckoning and positions of power within the New World Order. The Scourge, meanwhile, were not interested in money or land. Instead, the Lich King's most trusted advisor asked that Barovs provide them with their most valuable resource, the very people they ruled over and were meant to protect. It began with the servants within the House of Barov. They were shackled to torturous devices, subject to a litany of brutal experiments for days on end. Each time their wounds proved fatal, the sadistic Dr. Krastinov would bring them back, only to enact even more rigorous agonies, testing new strains of the artificial plague. Krastinov would unleash these wretched variations across the Barov territories, deliberately proliferating the most bilious disease in all existence so that he may be spared and even thrive in the nightmare world that was once called Lordaeron. Such was the fate of many of the Barov family, selling out humanity in every sense so that they may continue to prosper. The Lord Alexei Barov became a formidable death knight, while Lady Alusha and their daughter Jandice were granted the gift of agelessness and immortality, bound forevermore to Scalamance as phantoms. The Barovs remained at the seat of their power at Caer Darrow, allowing the crypts to be excavated and converted into a school of necromancy. Under the tutelage of their new master Gandling, who oversaw the estate, new necromancers were trained so that they could raise the armies of the Scourge all across Lordaeron. And while Gandling was the greatest among the Lich King's human servants, Scalamance housed a member of the Scourge far more sinister and far less earthly. Kyer Darrow's true ruler is Ras Frostwhisper, a once human mage who sacrificed both his body and soul to become an immortal entity of horrible power, bound to the Lich King's will. Frost Whisper embodies the inexorable Victorian terror found in Scalamance. His body has been reduced to a skeleton, all that made him human, stripped from the bone in his thirst for otherworldly gifts. His new form is wrapped in shredded robes and whirling chains, a mortal coil forfeit in a drive for greatness, which has left him as nothing but a slave to the dark. Frost whispers the avatar of the dark fate which befell all the masters of Solomance. Each of them paid in blood for their occult powers, and in return were cursed to reign only over the dead. Scalamance is a warning. It is a cautionary tale of those who chose to consort with the dark heart of evil itself not just so that they may survive, but to keep the grasp on their power as their world was cast into shadow. The masters of Skolomance choked the light from the land until their grip had become the very night, and there was nothing left to rule.